All kids out of the pool for adult swim. All kids out. Give me five minutes. Yeah, boy. <laughs> A few days ago I was minding my own business when my friend Dice messaged me. He wanted me to check out a game I never heard of before, and before I could even check it out, he gifts me the game on Steam. Now, I was on my break at work, and since Steam lets you remotely install games if you're away from your PC, I thought, why not? I like rhythm games. And I accepted it. Fast forward six hours later, and I'm finally home playing some Pac-Man. Suddenly, I remember the game DICE gifted me, and being dead tired at like 1am, I booted up because I had to get up for work at like 5am. So the plan was to play one song, head to bed, and tell DICE, cool game bro, and let it gather dust and steam and move on. So I start the game and it asks me if I'm over the age of 18. I mean, of course I am, I gave it no thought. The intro cutscene begins showing off your generic, your character here avatar, who is apparently going in for a job interview or something. I was too tired to care, and just wanted to skip the cutscenes, and... Yeah, I was tired of this dweebus nerd only playing babby games on his channel. I decided it was time for him to put on his big boy pants, and I got him this. However, the reason why I'm even reviewing this game in the first place is another story. You see, after calling out Dice on Twitter, he joked about a video review, in which I said, no amount of money would make me buckle. Well, it turns out, I buckled, because rent is due, and I can't afford to turn down offers like this. So, Dice, since you're the type of sponsor funder for this video, do you have anything you'd like to say? Comment, subscribe, and smash that like button. Oh, this is gonna be a long video. Alright, there's no beating around the bush with this game. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna be immature, because there's BOOBS! The game starts off with this guy who was supposed to be interviewed for a production manager position at Beatbanger Studios. Haha, <laughs> yeah, but things immediately go wrong when the guy they originally hired doesn't show up because of Zoe. That's when our titular character, <laughs> Kathy, sees the new guy, and without hesitation she snatches him up, and they start... uh... acting. Jokes aside, I think it's important to mention that sex work is real work, and even though it's very taboo in some parts of the world and this is just a silly frilly little game, I do think a statement could be made here about how these are individuals working to make a living, and they're not some sexaholic degenerates that deserve to be looked down on. But anyway, yeah, your main goal in the game is to climb your way up the corporate ladder. With sex. The vibe of this game is honestly a breath of fresh air in some regards. Menus are simple and stylish with their own themes, and you get that VIP feel that you paid to get into a cool place. When getting into the story mode, I was pleasantly surprised with the quality. Compared to other furry games that have cutscenes like this, I gotta hand it to the devs, they had a vision and made sure to go all the way with it. The voice acting is spot on for all the characters, and nobody has that weird, haha guys, this is so awkward energy that makes you cringe. Basically, the game is not ashamed of being true to itself. This also applies to the cutscenes, which are not only drawn really well, but have some hilarious comedic timing. That fucker! If I ever see his ass on the street, he's dead. What the fuck are you looking at? So again, big props to the voice actors and the artists for making this tie together really well. The gameplay is honestly pretty satisfying, and it being a rhythm game, I expect that to be the case no matter how good the <laughs> visuals are. This sounds silly, but I would compare this to something like a combination of Taiko and Parappa. While the obvious goal is to hit notes without missing any, the scenes that play up top are affected by your gameplay. Again, it's not as dynamic as other games, but if you play exceptionally well, you do get a little bonus seam in the form of the gallery you can unlock. The real challenge of this game is finding a way to appreciate the animation while being intensely focused on hitting all the notes. Actually, Tay. The real challenge is going to be explaining to your friends why you're playing a furry porn game at 1 in the morning, you little freak. Don't think I didn't see you beat banging one out last night. Actually, I'd like to assist in this peculiar pornographic predicament. Hey there, I'm your pop. Come on in, huh? Huh? Come here, come here, come here. Uh, a little too close. Back it away. A little bit away. Back it away. Thank you. You ever find yourself enjoying something particularly NSFW, which obviously, as we all know, stands for Not Silly For Willy, and maybe as a grown man, you want to take a load off and get a load out, but you don't want your friends interrupting you. You don't want all those cheesy messages pouring in of people going like, Hey buddy, what you playing? Hey buddy, what you doing? I hate! I hate! And I'm sure you do too. So here's your solution. 
Move your mouse right over to Steam. Step 1. Open Steam. Step 2. Click on the Friends tab. And step 3. Click Invisible. But I mean, I guess a good point could be made. Uh, I, I don't know how to stop it if it's on Discord. If it's on Discord, it's out of my hands, alright? I don't... I don't play around in the land of the groomed kittens, alright? <sighs> Currently, the game is in early access, only offering the initial four stages, but there's plenty to unlock via the music, gallery, and theater. Alright, I do need to cover a more serious topic that's not about the game, and if you'd rather not hear about that, then feel free to skip ahead. To start, it's been brought to my attention that the director of the game, Comdog, has drawn some questionable art of fictional furry miners, which is known as cub art. I was initially going to ignore these allegations because I literally just got the game, but so many people came to me voicing concerns I had to say something. So I started to dig a little bit deeper. Either way, this isn't okay, and it should be obvious I don't condone these actions. It's pretty screwed up. But to be quite honest, I don't think it's fair to judge a game based on the actions of one person when there's an entire team of people that has no affiliation with their actions whatsoever. The others who worked on this game seem like really chill people and make pretty good artwork if you glance at their profiles. I also want to address the influx of people in my Twitter reply saying he's a straight up pedo and not linking me to a single source, which is highly concerning. Because while I admit cub art is disgusting, to be a pet of the files is a strong word that gets tossed around way too easily online. It loses its meaning for the real offenders walking around. And while editing this video, my friend Papa Bear sent me a document that explains Com's situation. And honestly, all I'm gonna say is one, he is not a pedophile. Two, a majority of what's going around Twitter is over-exaggerated and cherry-picked. And three, Com has apologized for his past actions and have moved on. Take that as you will, but unless I'm missing something, the situation here is quite frankly not worth my time to debate over. Either way, I linked a document below with full context of what happened, and you can be the judge for yourself, and inform yourself. But please, again, don't spread misinformation or half of a story. And that's all I have to say about Beat Banger. A banger of a game, <laughs> with a lot of potential for adults interested in that kind of thing. The music is good, the mods make the game even funnier, and I need to go delete my search history and screenshots folder. Thanks to my buddy Dice who paid me as a challenge to make this video, my Kofi members for helping me continually make videos, and all of you for watching. You guys rock. And remember, stay foxy. She can go lower than I ever really thought she could. Face girl. The top of your booty jiggling out your jeans, baby. Pull your pants up. I like it, then I see you do it better than I've ever seen it done before. A lot of women drop it to the ground, but how low can you go? Lower than your mama's ever seen it in a lifetime. Never would have imagined it not even. Well, that's everything. So you can leave now. Not so fast. Oh, <laughs>